Hello everyone, it's time for another episode of Tunnel of Success. Today we'll be going over Camp Triggerfish, possibly one of the best maps where the killer whale can really shine. However, the whales here can require some mad precision to reach their max effectiveness, as you don't want to waste your special and have people dodging it by giving them a little place to hide. That said, however, precision is hard to do in the heat of battle, but getting in a general area and good timing can swing the battle in your favor. We'll start off with the enemy's main. Line your inkling's head up here and make sure it lines up with the brass thing up here. Once you've got that all centered, pull out your whale, maybe just raise it a little, maybe hit Y to recenter your camera, then let it loose. This spot is fun for maybe if you know a lot of enemies are coming back from spawn, or maybe a long range shooter is keeping you off your ramp and you don't want to be shot at while you whale them. Even if you don't kill them, pushing them back can be just what your teammates need to get back in. You can also just wane down main itself normally, but be careful of long range shooters and charges you see you pulling out your whale. Next up is enemy zone. Line your foot up here where there's a little wood grain on the ground. The more off center you are whaling the zone, the more of a chance your enemies have of dodging it to the side. Don't raise the whale too high to catch people at the grate at the end, if a charger or maybe a hydra is hanging out there. Whaling zones is incredibly strong support, as it cuts off the ground the enemy has to stand on. Even if you don't snag a kill, a teammate can take advantage of enemies trying to dodge and rush in for a kill while the whale is still going for maximum pressure. Remember, whales push you back, so make sure you push forward on the stick to make sure you don't back up into the water. Last up, we have your zone, for if you're on the other side of the map. Line your inklings head up with the wood grain here, or keep their body from being outside of the wooden pillar. Remember, don't raise the whale too high to try and catch people at the elbow at the end for maximum effectiveness. This can be especially powerful if you're communicating with teammates who are having trouble coming back into your zone. It's great if they're getting outranged by splatlings or chargers who might be hanging out at the elbow. Once you get used to whaling on this map, you don't always have to line yourself up perfectly and can move in front of or behind the physical markers on the map, depending if you want the extra protection or not. Like I said before, sometimes it's less about precision and more about good timing, as your enemy only has so little time to react before the whale rips them apart. One tactic I like to do is to have one whale weapon on each side of the map so that teammates can support on both zones. As you see here, we let our teammates know that we needed help capturing enemy zones so they sent a whale our way, taking out two of them. One of the most powerful things you can do against your enemies is split their attention, so take advantage of it. This has been Spectre with another episode of Tunnel Success, and I'll see you in the next bit.